Here's the deal. Chicken quesadillas from Taco Time, or should I say Taco Time chicken quesadillas from Giant Tiger, which is a discount store here in Canada. I got these in the frozen food section and I am very anxious to try them. I actually paid almost $11 for four quesadillas, so it's kind of pricey at over $250, 260 a quesadilla, but it's probably cheaper than buying them in the restaurant. But do they have restaurant quality? Let's find out. So what I need to do is either bake them in the oven or microwave them. Guess which I'm going to do. Place frozen quesadilla on a microwave safe plate for about two minutes at maximum power or until internal temperature reaches 365. I will go heat these or heat one at least and I'll be back with my review on them. Okay so I just got it out of the microwave. Here's what it looks like. It smells good. It actually doesn't smell too bad but it is tiny. I've always said this about quesadillas. I could eat them like pancakes. To me they're not a very filling food so maybe I've always just had little ones. But let's give this a taste. I have a feeling this is going to be very hot probably. On the outside in the middle will be stone cold. Okay let's give it a taste. Okay, yeah, I was right about it being very hot. All right, the flavor is actually pretty good. I can really taste the cheese. I think it's a sharp cheddar or something. So that's the most prominent flavor, which is surprising because I can see little flakes of red pepper in there and, and I can feel the texture of chicken, but I can't really taste it. Okay, let's try another bite. Okay, there's all kinds of cheese oozing out of this. You know what? These are actually really good. I think it's this very strong cheese taste that's really making them taste good. It's interesting. I've never seen these before except at that giant tiger. And that was the first time seeing them. And yet it says new recipe on the box. So do they mean new being frozen? Oh yeah, and it does have the, the heat level is at mild on these. So yeah, I can really, really sense that. But yeah, these have a very good flavor. I, there's four in a box. And I would say I could eat the whole box in one sitting. So it would be like a $11 lunch. Which is more than I would want to pay for a home lunch. But yeah, I don't know if you can see the detail in there. But there is cheese and peppers. I really don't see any chicken. But I think the cheese is covering it all. And like a lot of microwave food... It gets kind of hard when it should be soft. So yeah, the edges have, this part anyway, has become kind of rock hard. The way things do in microwaves. But yeah, when I put the fork in, how much cheese comes oozing out. I'm impressed actually. For a frozen quesadilla, this is really actually pretty good. It's almost chicken paste. Well, there's a little piece of chicken and there's another one. Yeah, it's kind of a, Kind of a goopy mess inside, but it does taste good. Okay, and these are way easier to cook than I thought. For some reason, I thought they were kind of complicated to cook, but two minutes in the microwave, that's it. Easy peasy. They also have two other products. One is a burrito, and the other is, I think, a chimichanga. If I can find pictures of those, I'll put them on the screen. And you may not be familiar with Taco Time. It's actually a chain in the Western US and Western Canada. And for a lot of Canadians my age, Western Canadians my age, Taco Time was the first Mexican food we ever tried because they tended to open in smaller cities. And way before Taco Bell, I hadn't even heard of Taco Bell when I was already eating Taco Time. And so Taco, Taco Time sort of set the standard for fast food, Mexican food for me. So when Taco Bell finally came to Canada and I tried it, I was expecting it to blow taco time out of the water but no not at all i still say taco time is way better but that could be based on the fact that it was the first mexican food i tasted so it the other thing about taco time was the first taco the first hard shell taco i ever had was from taco time and so when i tried one at taco bell i was amazed it didn't have tomatoes on it i'm like oh they forgot the tomatoes i thought tacos just came with tomato all the time but no turned out that was a taco time thing not a taco bell thing 
So yeah, every time after that, I would order a taco at Taco Bell and then have to order tomatoes separately. And it's not just my bias towards taco time. I would say these are a very good frozen product. I think kids might like this for lunch if they're into the Mexican flavor. I wouldn't say young kids because they probably wouldn't like the uh, really heavy taste of peppers and strong cheese. Who knows? I don't know. And then for nutrition, these things actually aren't that bad. Uh, one... One quesadilla has 180 calories, so eh, it's not bad. Sodium is 590 milligrams, and that is 26% of the daily allowance, so it's a lot, according to the Canada Food Guide or whoever created this little lot thing. And the ingredients are a mile long. The first thing I noticed was palm oil, so that's probably not a good thing. Okay, so on a scale from 1 to 10, I am going to give these a... I'll give them a nine and a half. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And comment below. Let me know if you've tried these or any other kind of frozen Mexican food. Okay, so until next time, that's it. That's the deal. Bye. Okay, I'm going to go eat the rest of the box now. <laughs>